From sneaky online tricks to spamming your smartphone, scammers have all new plans of attack this year to try to get you to part with your hard-earned cash. Here's what you should know about the new technology crooks are using to rip you off and your best defense so you don't waste your money. Spend time online? So do crooks. Hackers are now bumping illegitimate scam websites to the top of search engines. People do trust the search engines and they are predisposed to click on whatever they see in the results. And because they're not aware that it can be dangerous, this turns out to be a very effective attack for the, for the bad guys. Because if you click, malware or viruses can invade your computer. To avoid poison links, look at web address endings. Experts say dot coms and dot nets are usually safe. But if it ends in something you've never heard of, like dot CX or dot TF, you may want to avoid those. And if the text under the link looks Looks garbled, don't click either. <coughs> Cyber thieves are also targeting our smartphones, sending text messages or calling from what appears to be a bank, urging you to call a phone number or go to a website where you're asked for sensitive information. And while most smartphone apps are legitimate, some are not, and they're designed to steal your information or hijack your phone. Bankrate.com says to protect yourself, avoid clicking on unsolicited text or email requests, especially of a financial nature. Call your financial institution yourself. Also, download mobile applications offered by your bank rather than third parties. And avoid Wi-Fi hotspots and go through your data network provider. Also, be sure your phone is password protected. The BBB also warns of social media scams in 2013. Just today, I got from a completely trusted source, supposedly this picture of me, and isn't it funny, and click the link. Our local BBB president, Melanie Ducanel, called that friend. No, they didn't send the picture, but if she would have clicked on it, she would have opened her computer to thieves. And then there's the grandparent scam still making the rounds. Wayne Knitz fell for it. He thought the phone call he got was from his grandson. He said he was in trouble in another country and needed money wired to him. The voice still sounded much like our grandson with that background noise and what have you. And I said, you said, I said, well, how much do you need? The answer, five grand. Wayne wired it through MoneyGram. By the time he realized he'd been scammed, the money was gone. 